Yo, what is going on YouTube? Unknown Collector here. Uh, welcome back to my channel for all my uh, old subscribers that, be that have been around. And I, once again, I am so sorry for the lack of videos. This video, I'll be trying to explain as fast as I can why I haven't been uploading videos and all that stuff. So I recently moved into this new house right here. Well, attic or whatever. It's a house, but this is my attic right here. And... I haven't been able to get all the equipment that I need since some of the stuff did break and some of the stuff is old. So I can't really, you know, record the type of content I want to record, do all the gameplays, commentaries and all that stuff without, you know, the equipment. So I've been obviously working and the holidays are coming in. I'm going to upgrade this whole gaming room into just an, like a, an amazing gaming room. Right now it's, uh, it's lacking. I, it needs a lot of stuff. Like this is a pretty cheap sofa. I need a uh, I need a TV stand right here because I'm gonna be upgrading this whole living room right here into a, like a retro slash just gaming room in general. This is gonna be really cool. Um, that room in front is my is my gonna be like my streaming room slash YouTube to record gameplay and all that stuff, and also my unboxings, pickups, all that stuff. So um, once again, I need to just address this. My YouTube content is going to be unboxings, pickups, gameplay, all that good stuff. It's going to be a mixed, mixture of everything since I'm a hardcore gamer and a collector. So I'm going to be trying to attract all types of audiences. But that's pretty much what my YouTube is going to be about. And I just can't wait to be uploading and showing you guys what what I've been wanting to upload. But it's just, man, these past five months have been insane with the moving. But all right, guys, that's enough talking. Let's get into my gaming room right here. So right here we got a random old sofa, needs an upgrade, I know. Right here we got a really cool standy right here. Now this one, I picked it up for 10 bucks on Facebook, which is really cheap and really cool. Um, GameStop raffled this like, uh, when the game came out, which was like 2015, they, it, it included 10 pop heads as well, but um, I wasn't able to pick up the pop heads because the person didn't have them. Right here we have a TV stand, and no, I'm just playing. I will add a TV stand right here, and I'm planning on adding a PS3, just everything. And I will show you guys when everything is done. I'm going to be adding a ton of posters right here. It's just going to be really cool and, and like a really chill place to uh, hang out with friends and all that stuff. So right here we got more pop heads right here. We got some Rocket Mega Man X. This I picked it up on GameStop for free, so why not add it to the gaming collection? I'm not a huge fan of them, but you know they were free, so why not? So this section right here, which is my personal uh, favorite out of my whole gaming room right now. Here we got some cool posters that I did get for the midnight release. We got a uh, Black Ops 4 poster right here. And then we got my Splinter Cell Convention uh, console slash limited edition collection right here. This is part of my huge Xbox 360 collection that I love and adore the most. We got some very rare stuff right here. A, sp a sealed Splinter Cell Conviction uh Xbox 360 bundle that's it's just super huge picked it up for a hundred bucks They're normally worth like 400 to 500 bucks. It just depends on the market and the buyer at that time Next we have a Final Fantasy sealed uh, US version I did I think I did do an unboxing on this one. I'm not quite sure but Man, this is su such a beauty here. We got the collector uh, edition as well Pick that but pick this one up for 300 bucks was on the pricey side. Next, we have the uh, Italian version of Final Fantasy with the Italian limited edition right here. Picked both of these up for, uh, I think it was 400 total. It, they were a separate uh, transaction with separate buyers, but still pretty decent price. Once again, you would never see these on eBay. Like, if you see these, buy them up, pick them up if you're a huge Xbox 360 collector. The, the hardcore Xbox 360 collectors do know what these are and how rare they are, so... Man, I was just super lucky. Next, we got my first Xbox One X that I picked up two years ago. My girlfriend gave it to me for Christmas, so shout out to her. And then right here, we got some Black Ops 4 uh, Monopoly or Black Ops. Well, this came out when Black Ops 4 came out, which was last year. I picked it up. Next, we have a sealed Xbox 360 charger. As you can see, it's sealed. Pretty cool. I mean, I picked this up for, like I think, two bucks. So why not have it in my collection? And then we have my box for my scuff controller, which I will show you when I get into my gaming room. But yeah, I picked that up two years ago as well. Here we have a Splinter Cell promo box that GameStop had uh, like 10 years ago. Um, some Guitar Heroes with the boxes and stuff. Some guitars that I will be using when I get that PS2. I'm still waiting on my PS2. Here we got a random 
<laughs> some random stuff. We got some posters that I still need to hang up, but I need to buy frames and all that stuff, and I haven't had time and money. But, you know, I'm saving, and I just can't wait to buy everything. So here we got my summer uh, celebration Microsoft intern Xbox. Now this one came, uh, this Xbox was given to interns in 2011, and I was able to meet the intern that actually had this Xbox given to him. He sadly didn't have the original box, which I was so mad. But um, he was an original, he was like a real Microsoft intern. Uh, he did, it did come with, as you guys can see right here, Microsoft stickers. Um, he was legit a Microsoft intern, which was pretty cool. So now I have these into my, now, now I have these in my collection. Um, all this stuff came with it. So I assume this was the, the connect that came with it, but I'm not quite sure, but I'm still have it here. Cause why not? It came with this controller. I just have it here cause you know, it came with it and they also came with this. Obviously it, all that stuff didn't come with the box, but you know, why not just have it there? So right here we got one of my most expensive shelves and rarest stuff. So we got my Assassin's Creed 3. One, oh man, what a beauty right here. Let me let me go more into this right here. Here, let me let me open it. So I do need a better display, obviously, for this for these stuff. And I'm gonna be getting more colorway consoles, but you know why not just have it here for now? Uh, so this is my Assassin's Creed. Only six of these in the world. But people are not 100% sure about that. But once again, such a rare and beautiful console. So, and then down here, which I will do an unboxing on this. Maybe, I'm not quite sure since I'm already showing you guys. But here we got my Dark Knight. Only a 50 of these were made. And once again, for the people that don't know about this stuff, these are promotional Xboxes and they still do it uh, to this day. The company Colorway customized these Xboxes for the exclusive movies or events that's happening so obviously this was to promote the movie dark knight and as you guys can see right here we got the movie we got the the joker right here this came out like five months ago gamestop uh released this action figure so i was like you know what you know what when i pick it up since i have a dark knight console so yeah very rare and such a beautiful beautiful uh console these are just so beautiful right here all right, so let's get into my gaming room that I'm not proud of because it's a it's a mess and I hate how it looks right now, but I gotta show it since I'm doing a game room tour. Um, man, I can't wait to show you guys the new video with my new stuff. That's it's just gonna be awesome. I probably upload upload in four to five months from now. I'm not quite sure how long it's gonna take me to finish it, but here we have my game room now. It's a complete mess. I'm gonna close this door right here. I just don't like it one bit. You know, we have a bed right here that <laughs> that's on the floor. We don't even have a bed frame. We got some games right here. It's just, I don't know. It's so empty, so plain. There's so much stuff I could add into this game room. But, you know, can't do anything about it. But here we got some uh, Borderlands 3 standee that GameStop gave to me. Um, I, did know, I did know one of the employees, so they hooked me up with it. Such a cool, such a cool experience. You know, I was so happy to get it. Now I actually work at that GameStop, so it's just, it's really cool to have this standee right here. And then they also gave me the poster. I picked that up one week later since, um, since they got new posters to hang up. They, they take out the old ones and they, they give it out to the customers and stuff. So pretty cool, pretty chill GameStop. Here we got a Borderlands poster. We got Jack right here from Borderlands 2. Uh, nothing special. I sadly opened this, uh, action figure because my son wanted to play with it. So it was sad that I had to open it from the box, but you know what? Why not? I don't really care. Here we got some Fortnite action figures. Not the best, you know. It, it's just so plain, you know. Nothing special in my game room. I have so much stuff I could add into this. But, uh, I guess, whatever. Here we got some wrappers and stuff from um, some cool gaming sessions. I keep them because, you know, they're memorabilia from Gears of War and Modern Warfare 3. Here we got my Gears of War uh five limited edition console that i picked up like a month or two sadly i couldn't do an unboxing because i was once again moving into this room i have nowhere to do an unboxing i still don't have the equipment and lighting and camera and all that stuff and it's terrible but once again i just can't wait until i get it here we got my elite controller got this for christmas last year pretty cool it's a controller that i was talking uh about before here we got we picked this up two uh years ago it's beat up but, you know, who cares? I I have used this controller so much. I, this is the controller I use for my Fortnite. 
uh, when I was in my Fortnite Prime with all those montages and stuff. Here we got my uh, Astro 850 headset. I am planning on getting the black ones, but right now money is low, so I cannot <laughs> fortunately get it. Here we got my girlfriend's side. When she sleeps over, she hooks up her Xbox and we play all night. Uh, her HyperX headset that she re recently got. Here we got my very trashy chair and her very trashy chair as well. Man, I just can't wait to get a gaming chair because it's been hurting my back a lot lately. Here we got some 360 games. Pretty plain, pretty empty. Once again, I need to get back into the collecting grind. I just haven't had a chance. I really haven't had a chance, guys. It's It's been annoying. But here we got some cool and exclusive games from the 360, some very rare ones. I do have NCA 14, one of the rarest Xbox 360 games out there. Here we got some Gears of War cans. I know this video is kind of long, but there is a lot to go through. Some very exclusive Gears of War 5 cans. Pretty cool. Pick these up when Gears of War came out. Some Xbox 360 games. I don't really play Xbox 360 as much. But I, I was going hard with these limited edition uh, limited edition games that have recently come out, like Gears of War. I have I have bought the, hardened, uh, the collector's editions and stuff. Here we got my little display that I uh, I recently did a video of. Here we got my Modern Warfare 3 limited edition um, or my dark edition. We got some Mountain Dews right here, some uh, collectors cans. Here we got more Mountain Dew, Diet Mountain Dew, Black Ops 4 collectors edition right here in the back or Pro Edition, whatever they call them now. Black Ops 4 mystery box edition, some Mountain Dew 12 pack. All of this is gonna be sealed because it's part of my collection, I guess. It's you know why not. Um, here we got a promo from Gears of War 5. Got picked that up in the midnight release. Uh, the box for the Gears of War 5. My phone keeps dying on me. Well, the memory. But yeah, guys, uh, just give me, once again, give me two or, two or three more months. I got to hurry up with this video. But I hope you guys did enjoy this video. And if you guys did, please hit that subscribe button. I promise you I will be uploading more. Just give me like two or three more months, maybe sooner. But yeah, guys, peace out.